This is a quick movie just showing you how to use live chat, our new communication method, for service, sales or demo support. Um, so the first thing to do is to have a look at the support section of the website. It's the main way this gets used currently, but it'll expand into other areas and therefore should also be available under contact. So you can see here. Let's just do it for support for now. Um, obviously we can still contact our company through email and forms and telephone numbers, but the easiest thing is just hit live chat. And this brings up a little dialog box and we just enter in our names. And I'm just going to say, yeah, I'll just put in Jay Francis, I'll put in my Kumaji. This time I'm going to contact service and I'm going to start a live chat. And this will connect to a number of service people around. I'll just say course snap, I've got an issue. Um, a number of people around the world. Um, we have people set in different offices who can pick up these calls. So at the moment, we're waiting for an operator to join us. Cool, perfect. I have James McKinney. I'll just send him a quick note. I have a call snap not running in WinXP. Okay. So from here, he can ask me a series of questions um, about the file and setup. Um, it's pretty easy, particularly if he wants to set up a web um, call so he can look at settings and check things. This is a very, very fast and easy way to communicate um, and considerably better than email when you uh, you never know particularly when it's going to be answered or the telephone and you're sat in a call waiting for people. This is pretty instantaneous, so we'd encourage you to look at this. Um, for our customers in the field, this is perfect for service or for asking questions about sales. And also for our partners and distributors out there, um, it's also good for demos. If you're setting up a demonstration or you require demo equipment, uh, you can use demo chat that way as well. Okay, we hope this helps. If you have any more questions, please contact your local office. In fact, James has just come back. Uh, could you check for me if it shows up in the device manager showing as the IEEE section? Yep, cool, perfect advice. As I say, if you need any more, uh, please contact your dealer or local sales office. Thanks.